Alright guys, welcome back to the Wet Mammal channel today. We are back with another episode of the Undesirables and this is a true Australian Undesirable. It's a good eating fish. Um, I usually smoke it but today I'm not going to. There's a country not too far from Australia and they know exactly what to do with it. It is the, uh, the Kawa. The Australian salmon can give you some of the most unreal spearfishing experiences in New South Wales and Southern Australia. Having a ball of a few thousand fish around you is something that still blows my mind to this day. As with all the fish, aim for the head. They can fight pretty hard and will tear off if you get a poor shot on them. As soon as you've shot your fish, we you want to bleed it immediately. This is to improve the flavour and quality of the fish meat. The Australian salmon can be typically found running along sandy bays, on the edges of reef, and right up in the shallow wash of the ocean. I've literally shot these fish on just about every ground possible, but typically running on the headlands on sand. As a general rule of thumb, when these fish are in smaller groups, they tend to be a bit more skittish and a bit more active. When they're in huge schools, they tend to be a lot more calm, so you can take your time with them. But at the end of the day, it depends if they're being hunted or not. Cracking fish, get into them. Ready? This is the Australian salmon, the East Australian salmon, the false salmon, the bay trout, the kawai if you're from New Zealand or influenced from the islands, um, colonial salmon, they've got lots and lots of different names, but basically they're a salmon, but they're not a salmon, but they're a salmon, they're an Australian salmon. They're not in the Atlantic salmon or the Chinook salmon family. So don't expect to shoot one of these guys and have like a lovely orange pinky flash in it because it ain't going to happen. But these guys do have a good flash. I think the reason why quite a lot of people are put off by it is because of you need to eat them fresh. And I mean you want to shoot them, put them on ice ASAP and then you want to eat them either. How's that? Got him. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't know if that'll make the cut. So the reason why I think these are an undesirable fish is because if they're not eaten super fresh, they do expire and go quite nasty quite quickly. So as long as you get into them quickly, you'll be sweet. Usually I'd smoke these, and I love smoking my salmon. But um, if for today we're going to do some sash tests, and we'll just do some pan fry tests and see how we go. Mix some spices and herbs and stuff. So let's get stuck into it. Let's go with the filleting. So we want to take our lovely salmon friend and just come in here. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. And as with all the undesirables, we can try a bit of sashimi. So, see how we go. So the flavour is pretty good. The flavour is like a 7 out of 10 I reckon. I really don't mind it. Um, it kind of dissolves on your tongue. It's really not that bad. Especially with some soy, wasabi, or if you put it into like a um, sriracha, mayo kind of mix. It's good. Like seriously, it's good. It doesn't have like the powerful flavour of some of the other fish, but it is still quite tasty. So, there we go. 
I've decided to go for a bit of a change today. So I'm gonna just flour this guy with flour, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then for this guy, I'm gonna do flour, salt, garlic, and pepper. But the difference is obviously this one's gonna be in an egg wash and this one's just gonna be flour straight on. And we're gonna do a taste comparison because yeah, I've eaten this guy. I got introduced to just doing this in New Zealand, was told this was the best thing for him, apart from smoking them. So yeah, let's give it a go. This The flesh has gone a little bit flaky. Seems to be like breaking down. Um, but yeah, really surprised at the sashimi actually. Let's get stuck into some cooking. You didn't need to see me break an egg. Let's go. We have our flour mix. We have our salmon and then our egg wash salmon. It's been about 15 minutes, so. Again, just flour, salt, pepper, garlic granules. It's good, trust me. All right, so then we're gonna chuck this fillet in and we're just gonna cover it in the floury mix. And this should be good. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because if I put the eggy one in first, it would make the flour go a bit eggy and then it would disrupt the flavor. So we'll just see which one comes out superior. I think the egg wash one will. I've had the flour one before, just because I didn't have eggs, so we shall see. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Before we put it in the pan, we're just going to score it twice or three times, and that will stop it from curling up, and then we'll get proper crispiness, which is what we want. Next up, we're going for the egg wash one, so just get off of the last of that egg wash, and then move as much of that to the side as possible. And then come in. All right, as you can see, we've got the egg wash and just the flour, and they've both been scored. We're going to just chuck a bit of salt on the skin just to crisp it up a little bit more, and then we go into the pan. Do the little trick. Good to go. This is it. This is the uh, oh, how's the crunch on that? Yummy. Let's get stuck. Straight into this. Usually I'd add a bit of vinegar or something, but uh, so this is the quality of the meat. Mmm, that's really good eating fish. Honestly, with some brown vinegar and some chips, super English, but that is, that's a good eating fish. That's a I'm gonna give it a 7.5. If you're eating salmon fresh, it tastes good. If you eat it two days after, it's gonna taste like crap. And that's just the way salmon is, unfortunately. That was just the um, flour without any egg wash. And then we'll try the one with a bit of egg wash. So let's go down in this section. Again, super white meat and it should be flavorsome. So you don't really need the egg wash, but I mean, I don't know if I can tell the difference between the two. It's just super yummy. Obviously there's a slight difference. So the verdict, I mean, yes, having an egg wash on it is nice. Do you need it? No, I don't think so. They're both delicious. Australian salmon, as long as you're eating it fresh, it's super good, <laughs> like it is. If you're, if you're eating salmon super fresh and you've done everything right, you've taken it out of the water, put it on ice and let it chill for a couple of hours on the ice and then you cook it, it's a good eating fish. And honestly, if you smoke it, it's better. Like Fresh is good with the Australian salmon, with most fish, but like especially with this fish, it does deteriorate super quick. I believe that's why it's got such a bad reputation. I think people are chucking it in the fridge for two or three days, then having a crack at it. Yeah, it's gonna taste like crap. As a beginner, they're probably one of the first big fish that you'll encounter in schools. Um, so yeah, I've always had fun shooting them. From Melbourne, even in WA, and they're a different beast in WA. But yeah, they can be found all over, like especially in Sydney, off most headlands. 
And one of the best things about salmon for beginners is that they run. So if you just find salmon rush past you, wait in that spot. Chances are they'll come back through and they'll just keep doing laps and you just get an opportunity to shoot them. So yeah, get stuck into the Australian salmon, highly recommend. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because genuinely this is going to be bloody awesome. The 13th of January is a very special date. It marks the start of something new. So um, yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 all the YouTube-y things. And thank you for watching. Like genuinely appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this episode, drop a comment, all the youtube -y stuff um, that you see at the ends of the videos. And yeah, stay wet, stay fed, people. Until next time. You.